on Washington's Olympic Peninsula. Hey, what? As much as I don't want to be an to you guys, I, we got to push hard today and it's going to probably wear you guys out. We have to have six loads today. So I want to get moved and going as quick as we can. Gotta work! Today, the crew's racing to finish a 12-acre setting on a mountainside valley so they can move on to the next setting. It's going to take a massive effort. There she comes! After Steve hauls the trees up with the yarder, Paul grabs them with the processor's arm and cuts the lumber to size, also called bucking. We'll just try and get this road done so we can get our road change going. Perfect. Jason's setting a pace that's pushing the crew and the machines to their limit. We just blew a feed hose on the frickin' processor. It's, it just popped. Can't do anything, that's the main feed. Right. With a blown out hydraulic hose and no spares, the processor's cutting a whole lot of nothing. See if I can get my phone to work. Hey, Dave, I just blew a, we just blew a feed hose on the frickin' processor and we don't have any hoses. All right, thank you. The mechanic is on site to fix the processor but Rygard's problems are only getting worse. Uh, is this? I'm worried about what's going on there. It's not good. One of the rollers is shattered, too. Oh, uh, yeah. The hydraulic hose is fixed, but now the processor's head's broken. The additional repair will take hours. So our little bit of a breakdown turned into quite a bit of breakdown. Well, it's not good. We'll get it fixed. A lot of things are completely out of our control, but I'm doing the best I can. I just need to get back to work and get the wood moving, because that's what I need, is I need wood moving. You guys are doing great. I got to keep the wood moving. Whether or not we get it bucked, the processor will catch up later. But in order to keep the production up, you guys are probably going to have to pile up the wood in the corridor. John, be careful when you start crawling up on the pile. I will. Enough standing around talking about it. Let's get back to work. Good idea. Thank you. Do the best you can. Let's get that skyline in the air. Welcome to the land of Logan. Strap yourself to your lazy boy and hang on. Jason's plan is risky, but it's the best option to keep working. The crew's continuing to haul trees up the mountain. There's a growing pile of trees on the landing. We're just going to have to do what we got to do. Get through the last of the day and just let the wood pile up. As the pile grows, it becomes more unstable. If it collapses, 100,000 pounds of lumber will ping pong down the hill, crushing everything in its path. That's a big added danger for the guys. They gotta be watching up above and have each other's backs. And you don't know for when something dangerous is gonna happen. As the unstable pile grows, how long will Jason push his luck? I'll be all right. The last thing you want to do is push yourself too hard or too fast. That's when you're going to get hurt. That's where guys die. The inexperienced leader has a choice. Continue hauling and stacking despite growing risks, or play it safe and call the day early. I know we'll be running in the morning, and I know as soon as we get going in the morning that we'll be able to catch up, because that machine's capable of bucking more wood than it is. It just is what it is right now. That's it, we're broke down. Hey, we're done. I got the processor fixed and all the issues are solved for today anyways. So I got trucks rolling. Everything looks like it's on and up and up. I need to keep pushing forward to make this company keep going. This dream that my dad started of Rygard logging and taking care of me and my family will not stop. I will struggle and fight to protect the name and what my dad created. <laughs>